Ah, it's going to be this. Broadings Farm is going to be up here. Broadings Farm, uh, here we go. Broadings Farm. It's, it's just after there, but it's, it's there. Yes, Broadings Farm there. There we go. Broadings Farm Caravan and Holiday Cottages. every other pitch. We made sure we were on a water one because we needed to top up. And electrical cups everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, apparently there is a dog walking. Yeah, there is a dog well, walking thing that you can follow. But which that's going to the park and ride, isn't it? Yeah, it will it'll take you straight to the park and ride as long as you don't yeah. mind the climbing a fence at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like the end of the fence. Yep, that's the end of it. So, I suppose, I don't know. We'll just go on there, pitched and not home. No, that's not a walk. No, no, I know that's not a walk. Just going to have a look. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a bit wet. Should have put my walking boots on. Well, I suppose, is that the start of Whitby, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's down into Whitby, that is. Yeah. It's a fair way away from the sea, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's... they say it's it's a half hour walk, but I think we'll be taking the bus tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get the bus down into uh, into Whitby tomorrow. Yeah. Take a walk up to the park and ride. Because it's it may be all downhill on the way out, but it's all uphill on the way back. Yeah. And then we'll be walking around all day. Yeah, we will be. I will say the pitches aren't too bad. No, no, the grass around is a bit soggy, but not... No, but no. bring your levelling chocks, because most of them are on a slant. Yeah. I mean, we weren't too unlevel. No. Yeah, and then you've got another road down here, and Elsan yeah. and toilet blocking that little one over there. Now, do we go all the way up the top? Yeah, we'll go up the top. Yeah. Not a bad little site, and only £24 a night as well. I mean, yes, I know it's October, but... I was going to say, it might be slightly more in the... I mean, looking on park for night, they were saying up to £26 a night. Yeah. Height of season. Yeah, but if, if, if there are more than two people, you might have a supplement on that. Yeah, there's another row there, and that's the bigger toilet block, they said, wasn't it? The shower block and that. Yeah, the wooden building there is the larger yeah. of the two shower blocks. Yeah. We've got another field up here. Yeah, but it's a lovely view. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's not big, but it's certainly big enough. Yeah. Not bad for a little independent site. No. And certainly a lot cheaper than the equivalent CAMC sites. Although I think the North York Moors site, which is probably another five, ten miles from here. Yeah, where we uh, stayed last year. Yeah, where we stayed last mm -hmm. year. I think that's around about 18, 20 pound a night, but because that's because of its location, it's further out. Yeah, there's enough, there's enough space for a van and an awning, awning if you want to put one out. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose this is why they ask you to, oh, what was it, reverse if you've got yeah, if, uh, 
No, it's no, dri right. drive on if you've got a continental habitation door and reverse on if you've got a Brit side habitation door. As you can see, there's, there's water dotted around just about every other pitch. Yeah. I said so we, we went close because to a water because we needed to top up. And there's electric hookup for every single pitch. So here's your this shower blocks there. Side. That's yeah. the larger one. Yeah, see what I mean? I'm all wastewater. So I don't know how we're going to empty that. Hmm. Mm. Could be interesting. Mind you, having said that, I mean, it's not too bad. I can drain that at the... Um, yeah, here's your bins. Yeah, recycling, skip hire and all the rest of it. Dog waste bin. And here's the start of your oh, dog walk. Yes. Which so, basically, this takes you up to the park and ride. Yeah. If you follow the dog walk up there. Yeah, barbecue disposal point. All right, yeah. That's good. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this is a working farm, so you can't just wander on onto the farm. Yeah, and that's obviously the farmhouse over there. And the other wooden building with the red roof that you can see in the front there is reception. Usual, usual speed limit applies, five mile an hour. That is first gear. Yeah, <laughs> as they tend to put on some of the CAMC ones. Yeah. yeah, got another bin area over here. Yeah. Ideal. Was it quiet times from 10:30? Well, 10:30 whisper. Yeah, bring the levels down at 10:30, and then it's quiet time from 11 till 6, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's a. There you go. Oh, there's your grey waste there. Yeah. That's ideal. So, yeah. come the long way round. And just dump the grey waste down there. Yeah, I don't know. Those might be uh, holiday cottages, cottages. Quite possibly. It did say holiday cottages on the um, on the oh, on the sign it on the way be. in. It must be. Yeah. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they've got a couple of holiday. I'd say there's two, possibly three holiday cottages there. Oh, four, I'd say. And in the distance, you can see Whitby Abbey. So you can. Yeah, plenty of dog, so it's cer certainly a dog friendly site because there's plenty of yes. dog waste points everywhere. Yeah. So for those of you with dogs, most definitely. There's the reception building. Yeah, they're going over the toilet. Yeah, we'll go over there in a minute. Oh, we didn't go into the toilet block, did we? No. The toilet block's a toilet block. Toilet block's a toilet block. We'll let you know tomorrow if we, when we've used them to uh, let oh, you know so how clean. Another two there. Yeah, a couple more. Two yeah. Yeah, they've got a few here. There you go. Broadings Farm Caravan Site and Holiday Cottages. We've got five or six of them by the looks of it. And said so there's there's trees in the dis in the way there, but in the distance is Whitby Abbey and you can just about make the sea out. Yeah. And you're looking at what, a 30 minute walk into That's town? That's what it said, yes. yeah. Yeah. We've got uh, the first bit is on grass. Yeah. It's to go down there. And then the shell garage where we filled up last time we were here. Yes, that's See, true. There is no path on this bit, but then the rest is all path. Yeah. So I don't know if... Yeah. Yeah. But there is a path that goes all the way down into Whitby, and it is all cinder path all the way down. Yes, once you get to the shell garage. Yeah, go yeah past the shell garage, get to yeah. the end of a wall and turn down into yeah. town. Yeah, but not this bit. No. where the roundabout is the signs yeah. that's where the park and ride is yeah literally five minutes up the road yeah yeah and there's a nice big pub on that corner as well isn't there the Apparently. stables yeah there's another one the red lion close by and it's got live entertainment on a wednesday apparently oh right okay well we'll have to have a I look on the map about that yesterday. we'll have to have a look on the map and see where that is yes yeah, looking forward to going down to the abbey tomorrow have to see what time the buses run to because I want to see it lit up because it's uh, all this week it's lit up for Halloween. Rather nice uh, flower bed in an old boat there. Some information stuff there. Just a little thing. And if you're and if you arrive after six, there's your site map. 
and they've got one, two, three, four, five, six holiday cottages. Alright, so uh, where are we now? We're at reception. Oh yeah, and we're parked around here somewhere. Yeah, we're down there. Yeah, that's Elsan, Elsan. Yeah. El -san. yeah. Uh, there's your drive over di grey where we were draw. They've got more bins, bins, both shower blocks, your dog walk that runs down there. Yeah. Right, well they have got um information. Information. Hi. Hello. Oh, I've got grass on the way back. It's only on the top, so it should be alright. Oh, I have to bring my glasses with me. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> No, I don't want an open top bus tour, thank you very much. No. So you've got the Captain Cook Museum. Yeah. That's that one. Oh. That's that one. It's the North Yorkshire Miniature Railway. Ah, oh, that's model. the one you were yeah. on about, North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Yeah, that'll be one of the ferals, one of the farm ferals. Yeah, good Yeah. That might be mum from that little kitten. Yeah, they've got a little kitten inside. Yeah. And we're back at the van. Oh, there she is. Right, first night on site, it's a case of we're going to chill. I me think, thinks. I think so. Well, there's no point going anywhere now, is there? No, I mean, it's it's nearly five o'clock, so it's nearly well, tea there time. You go. Yeah. We'll set up the laptop. Yeah, we'll fire watch up the laptop. A bit, watch a bit of telly later. Yeah. Cook a bit of tea. Well, I say cook. Yeah. Heat it up. <laughs> Got to yeah. make the bed as well. Yeah, that's true. Right. And we will pick you guys up Later. in the morning. Fish and chip shops everywhere. Well, there was veg. Yeah. Although well, you want to go to the one. Which one was it? Magpie. Magpie. Also. Right. Okay. I want to be Probably Yorkshire flat caps. <laughs> Just about, yeah. Ooh, 2024 camper van calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do colours. No. Yep. Yeah. 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 Whitby Jet. Which it's famous for. Amongst other things. Sweetie shop. Oh, sweet shop. Yeah. Proper old traditional sweet shop as well. We can go in on the way back down. Yeah. We'll be going up to the Abbey first. Yeah, we'll head up to the Abbey. Cakes. Yeah. Yeah. Size there, Patisserie, a proper patisserie. Uh, I like that. Ah. Pumpkins and all the rest of it. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. Well, it's Whitby, it's another thing it's famous for, isn't it? Oh, right. Yeah, that might be great. Unsuitable for white vehicles. No shit, Sean. Unless it's for that. It'll be for this bit, but I hope so. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, definitely. for the uh, goth thing. Oh, 
I was just thinking about sort of having a break at the end of the break, if you know what I mean. Fantastic all lit up as well. Yeah. Yeah. Up. up we go. Time to climb the steps. We may be some time. <laughs> I've got a view of the sea. Yeah. That's a decent Down. view of Whitby Harbour there. Side. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Don't know if you could pick that up on there, but. 199 church steps. Oh, okay. You said there'd be a plaque, and there was. I told you. Yeah. 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 Huh? Let's go do the Abbey first. Yeah. Yeah, good weather for today, dear. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit grim, but hey ho. That's Octo that's uh, October. That's yes, North Yorkshire in October. Big church. It is a big church, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot bigger than. But you. We're gonna see those whale bones or what? Well, we're not gonna make it to the whale bones. Not with Papa's foot. Oh, the other way. We could go down that way. Seven minutes. Oh, Seven minutes. Cutman's trot. Yeah. Oh. We'll go down that way, I think. Yeah. 3,000 years. Yeah. Well, that people have lived here. Yeah. A holy place, a cedar power, sort of inspiration for artists and all of us. Yeah. Yeah. St. Hilde founded a monastery here in the 7th century. <coughs> and abandoned in the mid 9th century because of Viking raids. Yeah. Yeah. Massive, uh, yeah, the church between the 13th and 15th centuries. Yeah, the ruins, yeah. Yeah, destroyed by Henry VIII in 1539. Oh, and there's a coffee shop. Of course there's a coffee shop. There's always a coffee shop. There's Can't go wrong with a coffee shop. 11 o'clock Victorian ghost stories. 12 o'clock create your ghost story. 1 p.m. Out of account to Victoria got more. It's the same. So, well, five minutes to the Victorian ghost stories at 11. We will head up the stairs. Steep stairs. Yeah, they are. Just a bit. Yeah. Oh, look at that view now. Oh, yeah. Stunning view, isn't it? This is stunning view. Even with the clouds. Yeah. Well, it's, it's more atmospheric, isn't it? And all, all, all the people up there. Yeah. All over the bay down there as well. Yeah. I mean, 
Just look at some of the carving on this, considering this was built 700 years ago. Hmm, little ship there. Down the bottom. There's actually a restaurant, I think. Yes, I did see that. Someone mentioned it as we were walking up. Yeah, we thought we'd come down a different way. This is a Cadman's yeah. Trod, isn't it? Something like that, Something, yeah. 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 <coughs> takes to the old town. Yeah, it takes down into the old town. Um, getting into Whitby, dead easy. Park and ride at the top of the uh, yeah. top of the road. Took yeah. us ten minutes to walk up there from the campsite this morning. Yeah, though, um, is it from October? Yeah, from the... Last the the last bus back is at quarter to five, so... Yeah, bit of a pain. They don't like the Abbey up till six o'clock. Yeah. Uh, so I think the plan is maybe tomorrow to try and... Well, today, when we get back to the bus place, we'll try and figure out the bus times for, for the, the, other... the other buses yeah. that come down into Whitby, down that route. Probably have to get off by the Shell garage somewhere. Yeah. And then walk the rest, but... Uh, we'll, we'll figure that one out. Oh, that wasn't a bad day in Whitby. Heading back to the bus stop now to get the uh, park and ride bus back to the park and ride and then a short walk back to the campsite. Just uh, nipped in the co-op, got a few bits in so we can have some tea tonight. And breakfast. And breakfast, got some bacon. Compulsory food on a campsite, bacon. Bacon, egg, yeah. mushrooms. Mushrooms, yeah, got all of that stuff. And some bread. And some bread, yeah. Hot toast. So, and then... I think the plan is tomorrow to come back into Whitby. We nipped into the, uh, followed our own advice, nipped into the tourist information office, got some uh, more info on the different buses that come past where we're at to get us down here, because unfortunately we can't see the Abbey lit up today because the last bus is back at quarter to five and the Abbey don't light up till six. And then... Yeah, I don't really fancy a walk back in the dark. No. So I think the plan... So, oh, look, there's the P1 perfect. Yeah. yeah, it'll go around the roundabout, park up over there and we can get on board. Yeah. Straight back to the campsite. Yeah, on the park and ride it's uh, the P1 and the P2. Yeah. And your ticket's valid on either one of them. Yeah. And I think all the other day. one... Yeah, all day long. I think the other one we're looking at is the X93 or X94 tomorrow. I think so, yes, but I don't know how much it is. No, I don't. We'll find that out tomorrow and let you guys know. And we're going to come down in the afternoon, spend the afternoon down here and then see the Abbey lit up and hopefully get back. Yeah. Right, well, i better quit recording here for a moment because there's the bus and we need to go and get on that. So we'll pick you guys back up at the campsite. So, that was a very, very short bus ride. I think it was about five minutes. Yeah. And we're back at the park and ride, which is just over there behind us. And we've got to walk back down this road because we have to pass the campsite, past this wonderful pub-type restaurant that we've been very very good and we're not going to go and eat in there's a garden centre with a cafe just over there well we've decided uh, despite the weather to brave a walk into Whitby <laughs> today instead of getting the bus I mean we've been sat in the van most of the day yep because it has been positively foul all day yes we well, had a nice fry up this morning though, didn't we? It's oh yeah, we, we had... don't do a lot. Yeah, we did. We did treat ourselves to a proper fry up this morning. But now we've just because we want to go and see the Abbey illuminated, and the bus that we were on. Well, the park and ride ones from October. They they come back at quarter to five latest. Yeah, and the Abbey doesn't illuminate until six. So we've decided this time to brave a walk into town. Go and have the compulsory fish and chips and then go and see the Abbey all lit up. Yes, and then either go and ask 
or is it the X93 supposed to bring us back? Yeah. If it goes past and if he'd be so kind to drop us off, off at the caravan park, then we will do that. And otherwise, I think we might have to go and catch a taxi. Yeah, because I'm not walking back. Oh, God, no. It's all uphill for a start walking back. Not just that, but that path is slippy as anything. Yeah, that, that the muddy bit before you hit the pavement. But it's just clay you... mud. Yeah. Oh, it'll and be lethal. Very, very slippery. Yeah. One, one or both of us will end up on our backsides if we walk down that in the yep. dark. Yeah. And we're not going to do that. No. So... I, I just don't think that would be safe. No. No. I mean... They say at the campsite on the sheet of paper that they get, that you get, that this walk, 20 to 30 minutes into town? It, yeah. So, not too bad. No. You know, no, um, but it is not buggy friendly. It is not oh, definitely small not. child friendly. Oh, not God, in no. The rain. No, I wouldn't even say it's dog friendly. <sighs> you're, you're quite close to a main yeah, road for part of that. Right so I wouldn't, the, I wouldn't yeah. say a walk with a dog. No. Or small children. Yeah. Definitely not, I don't no. think. No, but and, and crossing the road by that, that, that was... Oh, by the roundabout, nigh on impossible. Yes, yeah, so some kind uh, young man let us across. Yes. So, basically, we're going we're gonna to walk into town, um, go and find somewhere to go and get some nice fish and chips. Um, we'll probably pick you up there. Um, we'll show you a bit of this walk as well, um, and then we're going to show you the abbey, oh, yes, all it's, nicely it's lit up. It's actually very pleasant. Yes. A little stream down there. Yeah, like I said, a little stream down there. And it's, I mean, it does quite honestly say that it does get a bit muddy when it's been raining, yeah. and as that's all it's done all day. All week. All week. Plus, I don't think it had managed to dry, dry out from Storm Babette last oh. week. Oh. No. So we will head down into town and go and see what's going on down there. Yes. I mean, it's a shame we're not here for the end of the week because it's the Whitby Goth Festival. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, some of the costumes they've got. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It cost a bit, mind. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. It smells nice, yeah. Yeah, they do well. I mean, we've got our fish and chips here, they're doing roast chestnuts and all sorts of things. And they've got the uh, open fire pits here for uh, roasting your marshmallows. They're warming up a bit. Yeah. My friends, welcome to Whitby Abbey. I know that many of you have faced long and dangerous journeys with difficulty and delay, but you are here. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to celebrate. We are celebrating our victory over the dark forces of vampirism. If you would like to follow my colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, over towards the light. Thanks to the efforts of Professor Van Helsing, we became aware of the evil we were facing. Lucy has eternal peace after the Professor drove a stake into her heart and severed her head from her body. Morning, folks. Well, we had a lovely time down at Whitby Abbey last night, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Um, went for fish and chips in the Magpie Cafe. Mm -hmm. Not the cheapest, but we both had separate recommendations that that was the best place to go in Whitby for fish and chips, so that's why we went last night. And I must admit, that was a very, very nice piece of fish. Nice bit of cod. It was. It was yeah. lovely. Not greasy at all. It was lovely. Um, then we went up to the Abbey to have a look at the illuminations. Um, English Heritage put on a... It's one of their paid events, so even if you're a member, you've got to pay, but you do get a reduced price. Yeah. 
um, I think last night it was £18 if you weren't a member and £14 if you were so we thought yeah right we'll go in and we'll get some footage and there was a big show sort of yeah, a play we, type thing we, we did get very lucky yes because apparently they'd had uh, technical problems yes yes and a, a local technician did um, help them out with it Yes. Got it all fixed. Uh, yeah. So they started late, but we arrived late. Yeah, we arrived late, and so, and they just started. Yeah, just started. Well, I, I will put some clips of it. I'm not going to put the whole thing because it's no, probably no. about an hour long. Well, not just that, but that wouldn't be fair on them. No, it wouldn't. So I'll, I'll put. I'll, I'll, I will put a couple of clips in the video uh, about it. Um, it was very, very, very good. And <sighs> yes, okay, the weather last night was a bit drizzly, bit cold, bit misty. But I think that added to the um, the feel. Yeah. And the abbey lit up at this time of year, especially with that sea mist rolling in. That was it was really really good. And if you haven't been, I can certainly recommend it. It was it was really really good. So what we'll do is we'll wrap up this video here. Uh, not sure when we're going to be going out in the van again. I think we're looking at the end of November potentially. With a bit of luck. With a little bit of luck. Uh, I've just got to make sure I've got the time off work. Because I have started a new job. Um, and then... Um, and again, we're not sure where we're going. It's a toss-up between York and Richmond, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, so, but we'll, we'll obviously let you know when we get there. And uh, we will see you uh, again on the next one. So, see you later, guys.